I believe there's a massive problems with our food. The the stuff that they're putting into our bodies and allowing at grocery stores is causing massive health problems. I, I think there needs to be a massive conversation with the Nas National Institution of Health. And that, that's why I created W quite literally. Just, you got to try this stuff. It's Jake Paul went on Jesse Waters Fox News show and talked in kind of a rambling way about various issues and political problems that are happening within the United States in kind of a rambling way. And David Pakman broke this down and mostly made fun of Jake Paul. And I think some of what David Pakman says is correct, but overall, I think his assessment of what happened here with Jake Paul is incorrect. And I'll explain why here in a few moments. So what we're going to do is take a look at Jake Paul on Jesse Waters' show, what he had to say, and then we'll see David Pakman's assessment of this, and then I will interject with some thoughts of my own. So first, let's see this Jake Paul clip on Jesse Waters' show on Fox News. What are the solutions you want for? What's the problem? Man, there, there's a lot. There's a lot to name, and you know that, that's not my. Yeah, we only have a couple minutes. My, uh, yeah, no, that's not my necessarily area of, of expertise. But I know people people are struggling with jobs, mortgages are, are too much for people to afford. Um, inflation prices are going up. Is minimum wage rising? People. So it's already just like, what is he talking about? But stick, try to stick with people, it. You know, are having trouble paying off uh, and going to school. And then they're feeling like, hey, I have this college degree, but what has this gotten me? I believe there's a massive problems with our food. The, the stuff that they're putting into our bodies and allowing at grocery stores is causing massive health problems. I, I think there needs to be a massive conversation with the Nas National Institution of Health. And that, that's why I created W quite literally. Just, you got to try this stuff. It smells, it smells delicious. So now he realizes he's off the rails, so he pulls out a body spray. But again, just try to stick with it. But I wanted to make a better for you <laughs> product that took out all the weird stuff for young men and boys across the world because it matters what we're putting in and on our bodies. And so definitely there's there's a lot of things uh, Wait, to, Jake, to work on. Wait, Jake, was that just body spray? Yes, this is W body spray, okay. deodorant, and body wash. Um, so I've been working on this for, for two years and it's available in Walmart nationwide right now. All right, you gotta send over the skincare line to prime time. We'll sample it and we'll give it a review. This is a completely incoherent rant. There are some who reacted by saying he must be concussed from boxing. But that rant tells us so much about how Trump won. Let me explain. OK, before David Pakman gets into this explanation of Trump, I'd, I'd like to address what Jake Paul actually had to say here. And the first thing that I would say is this is clearly a guy who is not well versed in these various issues. He's not a political commentator. That's not what he does. And he's just kind of talking about some general problems in society. And he's right about the things that he's talking about here. But my first question would be, why is Fox News bringing this guy on to speak about these things? They should be bringing actual, you know, experts on this various, these various talk, these various topics to speak on this. But also, it's interesting to me because a lot of what he's talking about are things here that Democrats and the left and left wingers address that Trump does not address at all. OK, so housing prices, you know, Trump may talk about that. Trump definitely talks about inflation and the cost of everything because he wants to blame Biden on all those things. But Jake Paul gets here into cost of college and he's without saying student loan debt, he's talking about student loan debt here. These are issues that left wingers are concerned about and want students to not have to deal with all of this massive debt when we get out of school. And that gets into the things that Trump and the right wing hate, which is funding education. The reason why college is so much more expensive now for young people 
and students have so much loan student loan debt is compared to the 60s, 70s, 80s and even into the 90s education higher education was subsidized heavily a lot of state schools 90% of the cost was covered by state government or part, partially federal government so students were not graduating with massive debt because they didn't school was much more affordable the days of people being able to work a part-time job and graduate with no debt, that's long gone because all of those subsidies for education have been taken away. So Jake Paul probably doesn't know any of this, but he's talking about an issue that the left wing talks about that Trump does not and right-wingers don't want these things to be paid for. He talks about the minimum wage not going up. Republicans are opposed to the minimum wage being raised that's something that Democrats and the left have been fighting for. Trump's not in favor of the minimum wage going up. He's talked about, he talked in the 2016 election that Americans should get used to lower wages to be com more competitive with other countries. So he doesn't, he and conservatives, right wingers, Republicans, they don't want the minimum wage to be going up. So I think it's kind of interesting that Jake Paul is actually addressing these kind of real issues that the left is trying to do something about and Trump is not going to new, do anything about. But he doesn't really know how to articulate that. So I think David Pakman saying this is just a rambling speech by Jake Paul, I think is a little unfair. I think Fox put Jake Paul in an unfair situation. I'm not saying I feel sorry for the guy, but you know, they bring on somebody who doesn't really know what they're talking about, and he clearly was unprepared for this. So that is the fault of Fox News. 16, Trump would slightly less incoherently than now rant about trade, China, farming, wall, immigrants, jobs. None of it was coherent in any serious way. None of it delineated any kind of deep understanding of the issues, but voters who similarly don't have a deep understanding of the issues heard the right buzzwords. When you stuff enough of the right keywords in there that people realize, even if it's incoherent, I'm recognizing those words and they sort of connect to things I'm aware of inflation, eggs, gas prices, China, tariffs masks, whatever. Right. Um, that's how you end up attracting folks who are on the periphery of the political system, are barely paying attention, but they know enough to know, hey, there's this thing called voting, which I could do. Does anybody out there interest me enough to actually go out and do it? And so I don't think we should laugh off these kind of deranged rantings because these are the deranged rantings that allowed Trump to pull in people who had not been politically active before because they heard some of the words they were hoping to hear. So I, I, I you know, ignore the impact and influence of people like Jake and Logan Paul getting involved in the political space at your own risk, because there are those who are maybe going to vote, maybe not, who then hear Jake Paul confusedly talk about the minimum wage and prices and they go, man, you know what? I should get out there and vote for Trump. So this is the area where I would agree with David Pakman on Trump has been very good and Republicans are much better at this than Democrats are in distilling ideas down to bumper sticker slogans. The Democrats are trying to do a more nuanced thing. And they just aren't as good at politics, as good at politics as Republicans are, and particularly Trump. So Trump says these, you know, make America, America great again. Well, when was America great? Well, you know, nobody can say, well, it was 1972 or it was 1985 or it was 1990 or it was 1968. People can just place whatever time they believe the country was great onto that slogan and it works. It doesn't really make any sense, but it works for Trump. 
build the wall and we're going to have Mexico pay for it. Completely nonsensical. Mexico was never going to pay for a wall. Lock her up. You know, that works well. Now Trump is denying that he ever said that, that it was just the, his followers saying that at his rallies. But it's a slogan that worked for them. Drill, baby, drill. Even though we're having record oil production in the United States, they pretend like America is no longer drilling oil. And so they throw out these nonsense slogans like drill, baby, drill. You can distill these complicated issues down to these very simple slogans. And that's what Trump has really, you know, that's kind of one of his real talents is being able to do that. And the Democrats have never figured that out a way to really get their messaging out on things like, well, they do pretty well with Medicare for all that's popular, but things like student loan debt and the minimum wage and these other issues that Jake Paul is talking about, which are correct, they don't have a way of really messaging that well. Trump is so much better at that than what the Democrats are. So I agree with some of what David Pakman is is saying here about Jake Paul, but I think he's, you know, he didn't really do that bad of a job on this sh show, Jake Paul, for somebody who isn't a political expert and I would like to see maybe because Jake Paul is talking about these things like minimum wage and student loan debt and people graduating from college and not being able to get a job in their field. And maybe on his show and some of these other shows, Logan Paul, his brother's show as well, that maybe they could have some real discussions about these things and bring some people on who are all across the political spectrum to really talk about these issues. That's the good that can come of this. Now, for them to just say, for Jake Paul to say, college is too much and people are graduating from college with all this debt and the minimum wage isn't high enough and Trump is going to fix these things. If he would say that, he'd be completely incorrect because Trump has no plans to actually do anything about student debt or the minimum, minimum wage or a whole host of these other issues that Jake Paul talked about. But what do you think? Do you think Jake Paul was correct with what he was saying on Jesse Waters' show on Fox News? Is it unfair that David Pakman attacked him in this way? Or is David Pakman right? Is is Jake Paul kind of just an idiot who's been hit in the head many times, too many times in his short boxing career and just doesn't know what he's talking about? So let me know your thoughts about Jake Paul, David Pakman, anybody else. Make sure to leave me a comment, a like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.